In this video, we are going to see styling in GeoServer. Styling is one of the key component that makes GeoServer very effective in order to share our data using OGC formats such as WMS. Styling can be done in a code and a no code way. When we say no code, that means using some sort of softwares or third party services which will write our styles for us using the UI while code means where we will actually write the code. Now when we say we will write the code, we will be writing an SLD format which stands for styled layer descriptor. This is a OGC format which actually writes a document of XML format in which we will mention all our conditions to create the style. In this video, we are not going to focus on SLD. In this video, we will just see the introduction part of style and we will see the no code way of creating style. When I click on style in the data tab, it will open the style window. Here you can see that we have option of add new style, remove selected style, we can search for any style and then we have all the style names in our geo server. You can notice that we have the workspace column over here, but this is not compulsory. If you remember from our previous videos, whenever we are creating layers or store, it is mandatory for us to give the workspace name. That is not the case with the style. Now I can simply search for any style and this will give me the style. Again, there is no rocket science. This is exactly how layers and store works. And when I click on add new style, it will open a new style editor for us. Here we have to give the name of the style. Let's start with the test style. And then we can select the workspace or we can keep it empty. And then we will select the format. Right now we will keep it as SLD only. Right now you can see we can select between SLD and zip. But these are not just the formats which we can work with. We can also install extensions for YSLD and CSS format. Which we will see in the upcoming videos. For now we will keep it as SLD. Then we have a style content. This is a very important tab because using this tab, we can actually create our style. GeoServer has given one amazing feature where we can actually create boilerplate code using the type of data that we are going to deal with. For example, if I know that this style is going to be used for a point data, then I can click on point and generate some boilerplate code. Right now, don't worry too much about what this code is. We will have a deep understanding of how to write this code and how to understand this code in the next video. Right now, you just have to remember that whenever you will create your own style, you can simply use the boilerplate code from here. Now, what if you don't want a boilerplate code? What if you want to copy your existing style? For that, we have the second drop down. Here, you can select existing style and when you click on copy, this will use that style in our style editor. Then we have upload style file. We will have a look at it in just few minutes. Next we have is a legend. Legends allows us to see what we have written over here. Here you can see that we have a light gray polygon fill without any border. And this is exactly how it looks like. If I change the color to something else, let's say if I make it as a red, then you can see that in my preview, I can see my legend turning red. So this gives us an idea that how exactly our symbol or our style is going to look like. Now again, it is not mandatory that whatever style that you are using, you should only use legend of that. You can actually upload your own image and GeoServer will automatically detect the width and height and format. And then this will be the legend that will be used whenever we are getting this style. For now, let's just keep it as a preview legend, which is actually coming from this style. Then we have our main thing, which is a style editor. Style editor is like a code editor where we have few options such as undo, redo, then go to the line, then formatting, find, find next, replace, upload image into our style and then a color palette. We will have a look at each one of this functionality in the next video where we actually use the SLD format. Now depending upon your screen size, you can definitely change the font and height of this editor. Finally, we have four important buttons over here. Each of these buttons has a specific job. 
whenever we will write any style we will first of all validate it using the validate button this will tell us whether whatever we have written over here is actually following the ogc standards or not for example if i mess up while writing my style it will immediately give me an error that this is not correct if i undo this and if i validate again you will see that we got no validation errors then the next button that i want you to look at is apply notice that right now we only have a data tab over here all right now when i click on apply this will save my style but it will keep the window of style editor open this is the potential difference between apply and save button when i click on save button it will actually take me out of that style editor into the generic styles page now let us get back into our test style now here when we clicked on apply this actually added few tabs at the top we have already seen everything inside data now the next tab is publishing publishing allows us to assign layers to this style for example let's say that we are creating this style for a particular layer known as cities so i can actually directly assign this style to the layer from here and i can also make it associated by clicking over here for different layers i will hit apply and this will be saved next we have is a layer preview in the layer preview we can actually check the data and the code side by side now for us to see the data what i will do is i will simply go to data and i will take any of the point boilerplate code once i apply and if i go back you will see that for this ports underscore all layer we can see the style if i change it to let's say cities you will see that for the cities layer we can see this style from here we can make this as a full screen and then we can make any change to our style and immediately see it how exactly our layer will look like if i change the color to let's say red validate apply and then this will make our layer as a red point so this helps us to write the style and as well as check it side by side finally we have layer attribute layer attribute comes handy when we want to create conditions in our styling what exactly is conditions so it is not always going to be the case that you want to color all of your features with the same style maybe you want to write a condition that if the data belongs to india then you want to color it as a red if it belongs to some another country you want to color it as a blue so on and so forth and not just based on the string data but also on the numeric data for example if population is greater than 1 million then color something else if it is less than 1 million color something else so in order to create such styles and their conditions it becomes helpful for us to understand that inside cities layer what all columns exist and what is the type of that column so that we can use these names to actually write our conditions if this is confusing don't worry in the next video we are going to focus on this only all right now that we are familiarized with all the four tabs let us have a look at this last functionality that we need to discover which is upload a style file now if you remember i mentioned that in this video we are only going to see no code ways of writing style so the first one is geo styler if you are not sure about what is geo styler i would highly recommend you guys to check out my video on geo styler this will tell you how exactly you can use geo styler plugin inside geo server to create style if you don't want to install plugin you can also simply go to geo styler website and you can check out their demo over here here you will notice that you can actually create a style based on this ui and this will give you sld which you can use now to know more about this i would again encourage you guys to check out this video another way to write a no code style is by using a software such as qgis if you have already used qgis in the past this is going to be a very easy thing for you i will simply open my qgis and for the sake of this video i will be using the same data which we were using here which is cities 
I have already downloaded it and I will simply drag and drop it in my QGIS. Now inside QGIS, we can change the symbology of the data the way we want. This is far more interesting because the UI of QGIS is very neat and clean and it will get the job done. So for example, let's say we start with a single symbol of color, let's say blue and we want to increase the size to 3 pixels or maybe 4 pixels and I will click on OK. Now our style is created. I will simply click on properties and from the style drop down I will save this style. I will save it as an SLD on my desktop. So let's say blue symbol and make sure that the extension is SLD. I will simply save this and if I go back to my desktop one more time here if I open this with VS code you will see that this is again a styled layer descriptor code that means this actually spits out an SLD code I can simply copy this open my browser and I can paste it over here or I can simply upload that SLD file using the upload button. If I hit OK and upload, here you will see that under the preview legend, this will show us the same thing that we were seeing on QGIS. If I hit apply and go to layer preview, you will see that we have the exact same styling. Now one might ask that if QGIS works in such a beautiful way, why should we learn SLD at the first place? I will tell you, it is not always guaranteed that whatever style that you will create on QGIS will work on GeoServer because as I mentioned, GeoServer will always expect data in the format of OGC. So some things which work on QGIS might not work on GeoServer and the example of this is following. I will go to the properties and I will change this to rule based. Okay, I will apply the first rule as let's say Indian cities and here I will apply a rule that the data inside this particular column, let's say if this is India, then I want blue color and if it is not India and anything else which means our else clause then I want it to be for example let's say red color with a smaller pixel size so 3 is fine for us alright now we have two rules defined okay if I save this you will see that this works perfectly fine all the cities in India are blue and everything else is red. Alright. Now I will save this style. India blue. If I hit save and OK. I will again head back to the Geo server. And under data now I will upload that new SLD. Alright. India blue. I will upload it, I will validate it, there are no validation errors, I will apply this and under preview legend it looks perfectly fine. This is what we wanted, right? Now if I head back to layer preview, you will see that this works but in a weird way. Indian cities actually contains both blue and red symbol, while other country cities are perfectly fine. There is a problem with the Indian cities. The reason is SLD format doesn't understand the else clause. So you can see that parse error unexpected else. This tells us that even though else clause works in QGIS styling, there is no guarantee that this will work in our Geo server. Hence to create such complex style, it is always recommended that we use SLD code directly. For creating basic styles, obviously QGIS will save a lot of time and this will 
give you error free code but for creating complex queries we will definitely have to use sld and that is why in the next video we will spend more time understanding how to create sld styling for point data till that moment i would highly encourage you guys to try to create style using geostyler and qgis thank you